Hey you guys, my name is Irina and this is my official YouTube video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about three important things that happened to me today. Today I got my two new shoes for back to school. I'm going to be talking about the generation of rubber bands and somebody who I've known since his mom was in labor. So, with that said, let's give it up for my best friend, also known as my uncle, to John Olson. What's up, y'all? My name's John, and I'm her uncle, which that makes her my niece. And she's older than me, which is really weird. We get that a lot. Like people will say, "Oh, you're her uncle, and she's your niece." So how is she older than you? Sorry, that's just the way it is. Some of y'all probably have auntie that's younger than you. I know, because like I have a best friend named Dana, and her aunt is seven years old. Dana, mm -hmm. you better listen to her. You don't want that spanking. Well, anyways, let's get to what I really came on here to talk about. So, I introduced you to my uncle, and now something really serious. The generation of rubber bands. Okay, we've all gone through series of things that we've worn on our arms. Mm -hmm. So, here we go. First generation. Those tan rubber bands. The one that you Regular put your hairs in. The one you put your hairs and ponytails with. The ones that you find on the street corners and stuff. Yeah. People used Regular to wear those ones. on. Yeah, people used to wear those on their hands. And then it went to generation number two. The you the, guys know those thick ones with yeah, the words on them, the, like, like the me. yeah, like when you get them at schools, like yeah. when school fairs will come to your school and they give you like those rubber bands. Sometimes they even glow in the dark. And yeah, those. Plastic, yeah. Those are generation number two. And then it went to those bangles. You know those little gold bangles with the designs on most them. Most girls wear them. Yeah, most girls wear them. And that was our generation number three. And then it went to gel bracelets, also known as sex Seriously. bracelets, but no, not really. If all of you follow that, but they're also really cool to wear because I know a lot of people who like movie stars and stuff who wear them, but they don't wear them as sex bracelets. They wear them as fashion. And so, at you race looks like when boys say you pop it, yeah, you, you got a that. kiss and all yeah. that. No. Only if you are really, um, you know what, and you want to do that, then by all means, go ahead and do it. But if a boy pops mine, you can keep on walking. So, yeah. If a girl popped mine, I wouldn't mind kissing her. Don't be gross. And then, all the boys. and then, and then, the new generation. Serious silly music. Dun, dun, dun. Silly band. It's the attack of silly band. Alright, we can stop. Okay. Alright, wait. Um, wait, 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 wait. Today, when I went to Walmart, we were really bored because we yeah. were getting back to school stuff. Woo. It was kind of fun. It was fun. But then, after a while, when you're just looking at underwears and stuff like that, you go, what the heck, how did I get here? But yeah. Right, so, well, I got a, my pack's right here. Hold on, one second, I'll be right back. So, boys and girls, ready for school? I I'm know not. I'm not. He has one more day of summer vacation. I have like two more weeks. I love Florida. Florida is amazing. In Georgia right now. Yeah, this is kind of my vacation spot. You know what is so weird? Florida is closer to the equator, but Georgia is blazing hot in the daytime. I don't even think Florida gets as hot as Georgia. I can never live here. In summer, I will die. And everything is like miles away from each other. Like if you want to go to the corner store, it's about three miles away. You can never take a car any I mean you could never walk anywhere unless you like directly live next to a store. But anyways that's not funny. Like Dana used to do that to Emily. It's so stupid. Um anyways the type of silly fans that I got or are 
our text talk bands. Oh yeah, she got the text talk ones, and I got the football ones. You know how it goes. Move, stop, move it, wait. Gosh, you play so much. So, anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys all the ones I've got. I think there's only five kinds that come in my pack. With no, not five, but five styles, and there's 24. So yes. Okay. The first one I got was ASAP. This is how it looks. ASAP. 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 And it's yellow. ASAP. Then the second one I got was, well, the second one that comes in the pack was okay. G to G. As in a minute, we gotta go. G to G. And my favorite B F Fs. This one's for you, Judy Lewis. I love you. And then I think last but not oh no. Second to last. TTYL, which on my next video I will talk to you later. And now, last but not least, oh my gosh! And that's it for me. Now to Dawn, you can show them your silly bag. Whatever. This is a football one. Brown, of course. All right, let's see it. Yeah, football. And this one is the football helmet. I really don't know which way it goes. Yes. Football helmet, something like this. Yeah, football helmet. This is number one for whoever is number one on the field. Number one. All right. Oh. Yeah, number one. Whatever. And this is a whistle. Here, number one. This is a whistle that coaches blow, of course. To me, personally, it looks like and a hat, but who's going to argue? And this is a bullhorn. Or, yeah. Which is made for bullhorn. really loud cheer. I mean, really shy cheerleaders who need that bullhorn to yell even more loud. Alright, and that's all for the football one. Okay. And now, now for our uh, third <laughs> subject. Yeah, actually. I guess I can include you. Okay, my third subject is my shoes that I got today from the mall. I have been dying for these shoes since I lived in Florida. I guess it's the newest thing, like versus Converse, then it was those colorful tie-dye shoes. And now, for some reason, I guess it's these. They're called Scaries. And these are them. I got today. I really like them. I think they're cute and they're really comfortable and they look cute with any outfit you have. Unless it's like a full green outfit with these shoes. I don't think so. Yeah, these are the shoes I got today. And then I got these. And then I got these. The long Converses, aka boots, Converses. I think they're really nice for the winter time and when it's cold. I think they're really nice. And they also are very comfortable. But the thing, I think when I start back school, I'm going to have to wake up 15 minutes early because it takes about that much time to lace up those shoes. I mean, I, I think I grow hair on my chin when I was lacing them up today. <laughs> And then I have a little secret to tell you guys. I went to TJ, no, I went to Marshalls, and I was getting these pair, I was, I like seven pairs of jeans. And when I see these really cute socks that my godfather, I, um, 
be I seen these really cute socks that I thought my grandfather was godfather was gonna think was a waste of money even though he's not really the cute type he just says okay go ahead get whatever you want meet you back at the front but I this year he was kind of different even though he did get us whatever he want he was like so yeah so then I seen I seen these socks like they're pink and then they're just a full gray one. I've seen them and I just love them. So then what I did, I used my head, which I don't do a lot. <laughs> Joking, I always use my head. Think first before you do. So then I seen them and what I did was, when we went out to the cash register, I hurried up, put all the boys' clothes on. Then I took these, um, I made them get distracted on something else and I hurried up, put these socks up and then I put, and then I hurried up, made the cash register slide them. Then I put all my jeans on and he still doesn't even know that I got them. So, and I think that's about it. So, um, see most of you guys at Jupiter Middle. Sorry, unfortunately, I have to go to that school. I'm still off for IMS, but I'm just going to have to live my life at Jupiter for a little bit. And, um, see you guys there, and I hope everybody has a safe and nice first day of school all around the world. And, uh, um, talk to you guys later. Bye. See you later. Even though